Hey everybody, Timothy here for Sharp 11 Music. In this video, we're gonna see how bebop lines are created, why chord scale theory won't help you, and we're gonna take a look at what will. This week we had Barney Kessel solo on Jordu on the channel, and being the analysts that we are, let's take a closer look at a couple of lines. All right, so if we take a look at this first line, the chords say D7, G7, C minor, but he takes this all as G7. Then we have an enclosure of the third with a chromatic approach from below. Third, fifth, flat seven, flat nine going to the roots, and then an enclosure here for the flat third. F minor seven, B flat seven, E flat major seven, flat third, fifth, flat seven, nine going into flat 13 on B flat which is cool. Then we have the root flat seven resolving into the third once again on E flat major, then root flat seven an anticipated D seven going into G seven again, third, fifth, flat seven, flat nine, again, same thing, root the nine resolving into the flat third, and then here a jump up to another nine, which resolves into the root. A flat seven, same thing, root third, fifth, flat seven, and then here an implied E flat. And then this last one, we have basically a sharp nine chromatically down to flat nine, flat seven resolving into third, five, flat seven, flat nine, flat seven chromatically up to root, chromatic approach from below to the five, and then with some deviation the flat seven resolving into the flat third of C minor. As you can see, the vast majority consists of roots, thirds, fifths, sevenths, and the occasional ninth. This is pretty much the typical makeup of bebop lines. And here's also my beef with chord scale theory and how it's taught. At some point, you may have heard of chord scale theory, the basic principle. Here you have the standard book. The basic principle is over D minor seven, you play D Dorian. Over G seven, you have G Nixlidian. On over C major seven, you play C Ionian. Or if we're really feisty, we play C Lydian. You may also know that these are basically modes of the same C major scale. Of course, C Lydian being the exception. The problem with this is that you're not focusing on chord changes. Instead, you're focusing on entire scales. If you recall my video on learning the fretboard, I talked about how notes in a scale have a certain hierarchy. Some notes are more important than others and they have a sort of gravity. When you want to outline chord changes, your root, third, fifth, and seventh are your most important notes. And the third and the seventh are at the top of that list because they are, uh, as you may know, your guide tones. Your guide tones are the notes that define your chord quality and they will help you voice lead the change from chord to chord in a strong and clear way. Now, I am not saying that you should not know your modes because you should. Just know that chord scale does not necessarily mean outlining chord changes because there's many pitfalls in there if you just start from a scale. It can be very helpful in a modal setting, but even there, there are some better ways but in and of itself, it's not gonna help you sound more bebop. You have to know what you're going for and you have to know which tools you have to use to get to that result, basically. If you wanna play a 12 tone row over a 251, you absolutely can and you can just go nuts with that, but you're not outlining a 251. Here's an example of outlining a 251 using only chord tones. Note the flat seven resolving to the third of the next chord. Now, obviously this is extremely basic, but from here on, we can apply a couple of embellishing techniques, which are frequently used in the bebop language. First, we have octave displacement. Then we can use the other scale tones as passing tones. We can also use anticipation. some chromatic approach and upper structures. We 
can vary the rhythm and alter the dominance. And finally, we can go a little bit, a little bit crazy and use some tritone substitutes. Note in example seven that I deliberately don't play D minor and A flat minor. I play D minor and A flat major because I don't want to play that B over D minor seven because that would imply G seven. So I really want to have that C to B resolution. So as you can see from these basic skeletal structures, which are just the chord tones, we embellish them in a bebop fashion. And that's pretty much the way to go. It's not based on a scale, really. It's really based on chord tones. And those chord tones are your target notes, specifically the third and the seventh, as I said before. So in my humble opinion, I'd suggest you spend more time on studying triads and seven chords and learn how to use the other notes of the scale as color and embellishment. All right, that's it for today's video. If you want PDFs to this and lots and lots more, go check out Patreon. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you learned something. Stay safe, stay healthy, and see you guys next time.